Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. I'm a cutting board cheese board. I sell a lot of these. This is gonna be a resin project. Some of those today, I have this very large cheese board. I usually find my boards at like uh, Home Goods or TJ Maxx and stuff like that. I find some different ones and then I always have ones that I buy like in bulk. But this one is a special board. It's a long board. I thought it'd be great for Thanksgiving and the holidays. So I'm gonna do it in some fall colors. Um, I might add some stones and stuff like that too. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna see where it takes me. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be using KS resin, uh, countertop resin today. I usually try to use the countertop resins on these boards because they are heat resistant. Um, if somebody wanted to put something hot on it, I always tell my customers, um, obviously you don't wanna wash a board, a uh, wood board in the dishwasher. You always wash it by hand and it is food safe after a 30 day curing process. So I always cure my boards for 30 days and then you can use it. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to mix up my resin. I probably, I'm going to be doing it like down the side of the board. So you have all this space to put cheese and meats or whatever you want to make your charcuterie board. So I'm just gonna be putting the art here. I'm leaving the handle wood i'm not going to be covering the handle today on the back of the board what i use is if you don't tape it because you have to put something on the back um, or your resin is not it's going to be really hard to get off I and mean, you could sand it you, i and i do do that but i use this minwax uh, paste finishing wax and i just put it on the underside of the board I, which i already did and just make sure you don't get it on the sides because therefore it would start to peel up because it does work. And I've used this in other projects and it's a great tool. So it's the Minwax and this gets all those drippings off. So, all right, so some of the colors. So I have this one, which I didn't even open yet. And this is the Ancient Metals Prism Pour. So I'm gonna be using some of these colors and I will put all the colors when I'm using them down on the screen because I'm just not sure exactly what color, but I'm thinking of the I want it to be earth tones, maybe a little bit of uh, a little bit of red in it. So I have a crimson, what is this? Crimson Lust, uh, Scarab Beetle, Emperor's Gold, Opalite, Tiger's Eye, and Mystical Mauve. So I'm gonna see which colors I wanna use. I also have some butterscotch and this is a resin art pigment. I also have the Bling It and this is Opalite, which is the same as this, and this is just in the powdered form, so we'll see which one I'm gonna use. I also have Luna, I love this one. Uh, I also have a color art, and this is Aurora, love these. These are kind of like, um, not color shift, but yeah, a little bit, but they're, they're just really, really pretty shimmery pigments. And then I have Rain, and this is like a little bit of like a sagey green color, so I thought I'd put a little green. But we'll see what colors I decide to use. It's gonna be very fall festive. Also, I just wanted to point out that I did sand the board lightly on the top where the resin will be going. Also, I'm going to probably use, I'll probably mix up about, oh, maybe eight, six to eight ounces of resin. If I have a little extra, that's okay. Um, and the other thing is I just wanted to make sure you know, when you're using paints in resin, you have to only use 10%. So what, what that means is 10% ratio. So if I'm using two ounces, I'm using, I'm using a drop, a drop, um, of paint to that, to that resin. Um, with the powders, I, I feel, and I, and I don't know if this is right or not, but I feel that you can use a little bit more cause they just blend in a little better. But when you use acrylic paints in your resin, it tends to make it sticky and gummy. So you have to be careful. So I always just kind of eyeball it and just to drop in there. If I need a little bit more color, sometimes I'll add a pigment of powder if the, if the color's not saturated enough for me. But usually with the paints, you do get en a, enough color saturation into the resin. So I just wanted to point that out before I uh, went ahead and started on this project. I'm gonna measure out my resin. It's a, it's a KS resin again, two part resin. So you it's equal parts. So I'm just going to fill my um, hardener up. I always put the hardener in first and then the resin portion and then just mix for like three minutes and we're good to go. And then I'll separate all my colors out. 
So I just wanted to pop on here and tell you that. So here we go.
through the night Cause I promise you this If you try to get some sleep If you give up the fight If only just This is not the end.